Hey guys, today I wanna to talk with you about motivation, how to get it and how to keep it, and really how progress tracking is an awesome tool to be able to help you do that. So all that's coming up, stick with me. Guys, welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. I'm here. I really want to inspire change, help motivate your transformation, and help you share that with your family. If you are a parent looking for some motivation, how to fit a healthy lifestyle into your chaotic schedule, this is definitely the place for you, especially if you're a dad. I want to reach out to you. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. So today we're talking about motivation, and I really want to look at and give you some techniques and different things that you can do to help stay motivated. So, what is it? that helps you stay motivated. You know, over the course of time, you might have to play around with some different things, but really think about what it is that helps you stay motivated. Is it motivational quotes? Or is it some nice pumping music? You know, cram in your headphones in the gym and just go to work? Is it before and after stories? Do you like looking up those transformation videos and see where people have come from? And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna do the same thing. Or is it a little bit of personal coaching? Come on, you can do it. Get down on the rack. You push it up. Go, go. Regardless, just think about what you've tried in the past that's worked and that's not worked. It's, it's an incredibly individual thing. It's gonna be different for everyone, obviously. But what I wanna try and do today is at least lay out a few things that I have found that have worked for me, experiment with them, test them out, see if it works for you. So one of the first things for me is really creating the habit. So I, I didn't used to always work out, but once I started doing that more and more, you know, they say 21 days creates a habit. Once I got that in place, then I felt good during, but more so after I worked out. Got the hormones going, got my blood moving. It, it, it creates kind of that, that rush feeling as you create a habit and afterwards then you like the feeling of having worked out although it may be crappy in the moment so also maintaining my health i mean i've seen a lot of people with really serious health issues and illnesses that could have been prevented with a healthier diet and with exercise so i really i want to stick around i need to be here for my family i want to be the best that i can be and then thirdly i really want to build myself into the best version of me that i can be i want to look the best that i can in the time that i have here on this earth so regardless it's going to be something unique to you but just find it Hold on to it, keep it right in front of you, and then remind yourself of it constantly. Alrighty, so that leads me into really another thing that I wanna talk about. And in my experience, I found one of the most beneficial things to keep motivation are progress tracking and photos. I mean, I'm telling you, I, have, I didn't used to do this until you know just this past year, and it's phenomenal to be able to look and see where you've been and where you are now, and that it really pumps you up and then keeps you wanting to pr push forward. So progress photos and, and progress tracking and measurements, I mean, it's, it's the small little things that you wanna do on a day-to-day -day basis for the small changes that you can't really see so that in the long run, when you look at the changes from a long time ago to now, then you see the drastic change that's happened and it helps to kind of boost your motivation. So you're doing the small everyday things because you know that every little change that you're making, every weight that you're increasing, every pound that you're dropping, it helps remind you that things are happening so that when you look in the long run, you see the drastic differences. All right, so how do you do it? That's it's something that I've, I've questioned before. How, what's the most effective way to do it? Pretty simple. As far as photos, what I would do is I would just do it every two to four weeks. If you're new to working out or if you're new to fat loss or to building muscle, you're going to see changes a little bit quicker. So you can probably do it a little more often, probably around the two week range when you first start. But definitely I wouldn't do it. Uh, I wouldn't do it too much more often than that because you're not going to see many. You're not going to see much of a difference. So about every two to four weeks, do it in the same place, the same lighting and try to get good lighting. OK, so I'm not talking about a selfie photo or posing in front of the perfect light. Although I may have fallen into that a few times. I've improved since then. But I'm talking about same time of the day, every time you take it, same place, same location, flexed and unflexed photos, take different angles with good lighting, not super shadowy lighting so you can see every ripple in your body. Just good, decent lighting. Get a full body shot if you can. Do it from the front, from the side, from the back as well. You want to get different angles to be able to see how your body's changing. And I'm telling you, you will see awesome results. It's fantastic to be able to put them side by side and see the difference. And it's going to track your story and it's going to track your journey. All right, so progress tracking more in terms of your workouts. I never used to do this. I found an incredible benefit doing this now. You need to be able to write down, have a journal, have some sort of log, use your phone if you need to, if you've got that out. Anything just to write down what exercises you're doing, how many sets, what's the weight. And that way you can progress as well and see, oh, this week, you know, two weeks ago, I was lifting 25 pound curls for 10 reps and, and now I'm doing 25 pound curls for 15 reps. And then, or maybe it's increasing the weight as well. It is incredible to be able to look at where you were, you know, six months ago and look to see how much you've increased your reps or your weights and that weight now. So I know it probably sounds like a lot, but 
bottom line, make it simple. Start with something easy. Start with something small, just a photo here and there, jotting down a few exercises, or even just bring a notepad with you, anything just to even, even start creating that habit. You don't want to be overwhelmed all at once. Definitely give it a shot. When you make the small investment of, of documenting even just a little bit, it makes your fitness story that much more impactful for you and for other people as well who might be inspired by you. When you see it, you will keep believing it. Anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today, but I definitely want to help keep you motivated, keep you focusing, because that's how we push forward and make results and stick around here for our families or for loved ones and everything and, and to live a healthier and a stronger and a more energetic life. So just remember, be intentional and bring the intensity. So hit the subscribe button. I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out. Can't wait to see you in the next video. I'm really glad that you have showed up here today. Although you're not actually showing up here, probably sitting in the same place that you were about five minutes ago. Anyways, I digress.